going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And in today's video, I'm setting up the brand new Winlader Bionic Ludashi, a powerful new fork of Winlader that brings some serious performance upgrades. It's fully open source and built with Bionic implementation, which means way better compatibility for Mali GPUs, unsupported Snapdragon chips, and even some Exynos with AMD Eclipse GPU devices. Plus, it's packed with new features, customizations, and improved stability. We're checking out the latest Bionic Glib C build that just dropped last week. All right, so if we go to the releases, they've updated the custom Adreno build for Winlater Bionic, specifically for those using the Adreno 735 GPU on the 8th Gen 3, which is the same phone I'm using. They fixed some issues and also added ProtonBox 64 support, which provides better performance with the native Glib C version as mentioned. This is specifically the Ludashi build, functionally identical to the vanilla app, but designed to offer better performance, reduce throttling, and boost overall efficiency. Let's see how well it actually performs in real time. Anyway, I've already installed this new Winlater Bionic version. Same as usual, allow the necessary permissions, then allow file access. All right, so as you can see, it comes with a new UI theme color. If we go into options, they've added a section for Adreno GPU drivers. You can install drivers from here based on your phone's support. Now let's go to settings. It looks completely new this time. Here, the Box 64 version is already selected. Set the preset to performance. As usual, you can enable big picture mode on app launch if you want. I'll leave everything else to default. They've removed wine in this version. At the top, we now have the Bionic Terminal. And here's Big Picture Mode, which we've already seen. Games will now display in detail with driver info and everything. You can even customize the background. They've also added an Import Container option, which lets you restore from a backup if you have one. Now let's add a container. As usual, set the screen resolution as per your preference. Here, Wine is set to Proton 9. Under Graphics Driver, the system is set to default. But if you're using Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or lower, then switch to Turnip 25 version. These are the available extensions. Set the DXVK version based on the game you're playing. I'll leave everything to default here and save the container. I'll also make a separate video soon for Mali GPU devices as well. All right, there we go. If we go to Start, they've added DirectX samples. Now go to Extras and install all the required Visual C++ libraries. This part is very important. If we check the DirectX tests, it's working fine. We're getting better FPS on the Mesa Turnip driver, but unfortunately DirectX 12 isn't working yet. DirectX 9 is working smoothly without any issues. All right, now it's time for testing. Simply add and create game shortcuts to the container. Here, as you can see, the games show up in the big picture UI, complete with driver info and compatibility details. Now let's load a game. All right, the task has been added. And there we go. As you can see, we're getting a stable 60 FPS, which means this Bionic version is really helping boost performance. The phone is heating up quite a bit, but even then, look at that. It runs amazing. No throttling at all. Let's see how it holds in real world gameplay. Okay, it's stable. And this game runs on DirectX 11, so it's a pretty demanding title. And that's pretty much it for this video on the new Winlater Bionic Ludashi build. Performance looks solid, and also I'll be testing it on Mali devices very soon. If you found this helpful, drop a like, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe to RGB Tech for more awesome emulation content. Catch you in the next one.